Uh, I'd hoped to video myself interacting with some dogfish, but after a half hour of diving I hadn't spotted any. So I decided to leave a camera on the bottom in case they showed up later and spend my time diving elsewhere. wearing this fishnet stocking on my head with the theory that it would hide my eyes and make it easier to get close to the dogfish. But since there were no dogfish, it just made it hard to see the bottom before I hit it. So I dropped the stocking back to shore and headed out to the Nakaya. The tide height was only about 0.8 of a meter so the Nakaya would be relatively shallow. Here you can see the marker buoys for the Nakaya. With no wind or current, the surface marker was hanging right next to the submerged marker. The sur submerged marker is only about 10 meters from the Nakaya's stern, so this made it easy to locate the wreck. first dive, I dropped right onto the stern at about 17 meters. In the water above the stern, you can see a large school of shiner perch. This next dive, I swam up along the starboard side at about 19 meters out towards the bow. On the left, you can see a light flattish surface on the bottom and I hit that on the next dive. In the distance here, you can see some white plumose anemones on a rope. Eventually, I'll be diving right at the base of that rope. On this dive, I'm amidships, about 22 meters down, looking towards the starboard, with the bow towards the left. You can see the school of yellowtail that always hangs out around here. This dive is also to 22 meters and along the starboard side of the wreck at the base of the rope. This is where the yellow tails seem to congregate the most.
This dive, I'm down 18 meters, swimming along the starboard side towards the stern. On this dive, I drop down to the bottom along the starboard, starboard side near the stern at about 20 meters. And this was the final dive to 17 meters right off the back of the stern. At this point, almost an hour had gone by and I was starting to shiver from the cold at depth. So I headed in to recover my camera.